Is that cocoa butter yummy? Well, now I don't have sugar. It's a little on the fatty side. Okay, Liz, does this name ring a bell? Yes. Yeah. All right. Perfect smoked chocolate. Some would say invented. All right. So basically, now I'm going to have cocoa butter and milk. How good is that going to be? Milton Hershey creates the Hershey bar. What's the recipe for the Hershey bar? We don't know, right? But it's milk and cocoa butter and sugar and all of it. It's a secret. All right, anybody from Hershey, Pennsylvania? Is Stephanie from there? That's so fun. Yeah. The one town where you don't want to run around going vanilla. Right. Hershey moves there. He'd been like a caramel salesman or something beforehand, had all this money, besides chocolate is going to be the thing. Right? Names the town after himself, but hey, he's a capitalist, he's got a lot of money. Right? Builds basically homes for the people who are going to work in his chocolate factory, right? and now it's his town. Right? Hershey, Pennsylvania it is. Right? Anybody been there? What do they have? <coughs> Cards and shitload of chocolate. Is there a train? No highway, nothing? Okay. Different products obviously have different caffeine levels, and this has started to turn into kind of a proof war issue, right? Does anybody know how much caffeine in the uh, in the little red bulbs. Isn't that funny? That you know that just like that? Right? And for a while there was nothing this small that had that much. Now, this is like a little kid on the block, right? What we see, so about 100 milligrams is in a five ounce coffee, no amounts may vary. Right? In tea, about 60 milligrams. The key is less than coffee. Even the black teas is generally less than coffee. Yeah, you can brew it super blah, blah, blah. Can you get decaf tea? Sure. Could you make decaf tea at home? Sure. Run through the tea bag once, pour that out, and then make tea with the next, with the same bag. It's going to be decaf tea. Right? That's pretty much how they make it. Chocolate is only six milligrams per ounce. All right. Who eats an ounce of chocolate? I think the average candy bar is still, it's like an ounce and a half, isn't it? A Hershey bar? They used to be bigger when I was a kid and they were a dime. <laughs> Back in the day, I'd get off my dinosaur. <laughs> Soft drinks 38 to 45 can reach 116. Right? We're talking about 12 ounce, right? So bigger than this. Right. What are the big caffeine brands? Anybody have? Mountain Dew was always a fave, right? Is Jolt still around? Some places. Only, only in certain markets, right? <laughs> For a while in the 80s, there was this crowd to Water Joe. And it was caffeinated water. And my roommates used to make coffee with it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking cardiac arrest in a cup. <laughs> right. Medications, and I use the term loosely, 32 to 200 milligrams. Classic caffeine supplement over the counter. Nope. What's the name? No dose it is. The trucker's friend. What's the headache medication too? Ah, Excedrin. No. Aspirin, 65 milligrams caffeine. It really works if you're having a caffeine headache. Okay. <laughs> What's the first symptom of caffeine withdrawal? Is it? Does the book still have that case study? The guy, it's like Sunday morning. He's like, I can't understand. Every Sunday, right around 11 o'clock, I get this terrible headache. <laughs> I haven't had your coffee yet. But yeah, take that 200 milligrams. I mean, the vitamins come at that. Uh, that's some serious shit, right? What's a lethal dose? Nauseated, right? 10 grams will certainly be 
lethal for half the population. Okay. So these aren't a toy. Okay. So it's funny now because, uh, at least on the sodas that come out there, they finally have the caffeine listed. All right? And that's only been the legal predicament for the last few years. So if you're really into it, like you know if Coke Zero has less than Diet Coke, as far as caffeine is concerned, so they have, okay? But in truth, once you're over a certain amount, a Red Bull, 116 milligrams, but that's for 12 ounces. These are the 8 ounces, okay? 8.4, I don't know why. Attract <laughs> packages. I'm not going to say and which one has 54, but just so you know. Now, why is this a big issue? Caffeine is psychoactive milligrams per kilogram. Who drinks soda? Kids. Kids. And they don't have a lot of kilograms. Maya's all excited. She's eight, she's up to 60 pounds. 60 pounds the last kicker, right? Okay. Well, it don't take much for her to be bouncing off the walls on this. Right? I rely on the placebo effect. I'm like, okay, you can smell this. It's going to get you really stimulated, though. Watch out. There you go. But the clincher is kids are actually ounce per ounce, pound per pound, getting more caffeine than pretty much anybody in the US. Right. And it's off of this source. All right. Behavioral effects. Definitely delayed onset of sleep. Right. Much like nicotine that we saw. We're going to get some of that resistance to boring tasks. Okay, the Macintosh clock. That horrible watch it go every second, once in a while it's going to go two, so click the space bar. Okay, this other one, the continuous performance task. A number is going to show up in the center of the screen, and when it's an eight, you press the space bar. Doesn't that sound fucking weird? That's okay because it's only a 20 minute task. Caffeine helps. Depends on the type of task. Okay. What's curious is like complicated vigilance type tasks, we do pretty well on them without it. Right. Fine motor stuff, it doesn't help. How come? Why doesn't caffeine help fine motor tasks? Right. You get too shaky. Right. Literally, baseline tremor. Can increase. You don't want your moil on a whole bunch of caffeine. <laughs> moil is the guy who does circumcision. <laughs> Increases vigilance and attentive support in more tasks. May be disruptive in more complex tasks. Okay? <coughs> Simple reaction time, probably an improvement. Hey, when you hear this bell, press the space bar. Okay, not great, but some. Okay? Complex reaction time. When the red light goes on, you press R. When the green light goes on, you press G. Blue light goes on, you press B. When the puce light goes on, you press P. When the periwinkle goes on, you press P and W. And then when you hear the bell, press the space bar. <coughs> Caffeine, that pisses you off. <laughs> like, what? I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> so it doesn't help with the complex one. 